The Hitman waters have certainly been muddied as of late with the revelation that the game will be fully episodic which has naturally received a pretty damn mixed reception from fans but for those of you who are planning on buying at least the first episode of the game will be pleased to know there is currently a rumour or unfoot, or rather something that's unconfirmed as according to the GDC 2016 session scheduler Hitman will actually feature a DX12 renderer. Now, I will include a link in the description below, and this particular session is titled Advanced Graphics Techniques Tutorial Day Rendering Hitman with DirectX 12. And the description for the session reads, quote, This talk will give a brief overview of how the Hitman renderer works, followed by a deep dive into how we manage everything with DX12, including pipeline state objects, root signatures, resources, command queues, and multi-threading. And the takeaway is intended to be, quote, how to write a fast and efficient DirectX 12 slash Vulkan engine, and how to use the new HW features to implement new graphics techniques. Now, do keep this in mind that this is not confirmed by I.O. or Square Enix, but you can pretty much take this as fairly legit given that this is a session scheduled for the GDC conference this year. But it would make sense given that we already know that Deus Ex Mankind Divided is already confirmed to feature full DirectX 12 integration, so it would make sense for Hitman 2 as well, at least in theory. So it might support it at launch, it might support it later on down the line, or it might not support it at all. Of course, the first episode for Hitman is available on March the 11th. So it won't be too long before we find out the full support that DX12 either has or doesn't have. It could even be partial support rather than full support. As we have seen games in the past that make use of certain DX12 features in, uh, in order sorry, to increase performance. So it could be a case of that rather than full utilisation. But still, could be interesting. It's about time we saw a push towards DX12 and Vulkan, of course. Definitely want to see some competition there in the PC gaming space. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.